Hello everybody. I just wanted to do a quick video on how to use Instacord. Um, it seems there's quite a few people struggling with it and how to get results quickly. Um, some of the criticisms have been that you need to be really good at music theory to get anything out of Instacord, um, but it's really not the case. Right, the first thing to understand about Instacord is that the keyboard is divided into four sections chords A, chords B, on your left hand where you'll be playing one note, picks A, picks B where you'll be playing um, the generated uh, chords which you'll be playing with one finger. Chords A corresponds to this um, grouping and chords B to this one and picks A, the action to take picks B, the action to take. It's really up to you how you set up your scale. The, these are just placeholders uh, which correspond to your keyboard. If you wanted, on the C, you could change that to an A sharp, as you can see. I'm still playing the same note. Uh, e, but it'd be completely confusing. Um, so it's probably not a great idea to do that but it does allow a lot of flexibility if you don't want to use the chords given to you by Instacord it's very easy just to write in your own um, and if you're unsure how to do that the easiest thing to do would be to go to a website such as guitarresource.com um, and it shows you exactly chords for each key. So you could just literally write them in. So you can basically write in each the root note and the chord corresponding to each root note of the scale. And in this case C major, the root note is C is major the D is a minor, and so on and so forth. Um, the website suggests minor flat fifth diminished um, for the B. You can basically just write in exactly the chord for each note of the scale you've chosen. So you don't really need to understand the theory behind it, all you need to know is that it sounds good. So as you can see we have C and a black note here we're, we're missing out, D, black note missing out, E, F and so on. And when we get up to the octave for the second chords you put it up a an octave. Um, so that's the key of C which you literally play one finger in your left hand and it won't play anything until you, you tell what action to do. So you've got your left hand and then your right hand. Or I could do a different action. Instacord allows you to use a huge variety of chords. Um, so once you've been experimenting with all the basically the chords of the major scale, um, you could start experimenting by dropping in different um, variations of chords. And different strumming patterns. Though it's pretty cool to be able to play live like this. Actually, you can, if you experiment with the notes, you can see how that sounds like. Uh, so, here are your right picks in the right hand. So, all these notes here. P, 
picks A, picks B, and here you got your chords on your left hand. In fact, let's show you. So you can do a lot of experimenting in that way to get the effects you want. Obviously this is a very simple um, introduction, but I hope you found it useful. Um, any questions in the comments below? Okay, cheers.